What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Jorge and today we're going to be installing some mods on my Camaro SS. Alright guys, so like I mentioned, we're going to be installing some mods both performance wise and visual on the Camaro SS. Um, today I'm going to be installing a Mighty Mouse uh, mild catch can and replacing my start button with the ZL1 all aluminum silver button. Um, so um, let me go ahead and show you guys the parts and here we go. So here I have the start stop button from the ZL1. As you can see it's all silver with a gloss black trim. Um, so we'll be installing this and also I ordered this actually the while I was at the dealership I ordered this kit and this is the Mighty Mouse Solutions Gen 5 uh, kit for the Camaro 6th generation and it comes with the main body with the it's a draft fitting it comes with the hoses the fittings that you're going to need and the filter brackets and all that hardware so let's go ahead and get to this start button first since this is probably going to be the easiest guys, so as you can see here on the Camaro SS you get basically the reverse you get a black button with the silver trim and we're going to be replacing that with this uh, nice silver finished with gloss black trim button. So the way that you want to do this, and thank you to those that have done it like uh, Lethal Garage, is we're going to have to remove the radio out so that we can pop this trim all the way around off. And from the bottom side here, give us some space to unplug this and plug in the new one all right guys so it is all back together very very easy install and you get very nice nice little trim piece although very small detail but it's all in the details when it comes to these cars guys uh, definitely definitely all in the details so now that we got that out of the way let's go ahead and get into the real meat of the potatoes of this video and that is installing the mild catch can all right guys, so we're first gonna assemble this bracket and to do that, you're gonna use, they give you two of these bolts. One goes here and that's gonna be kind of a guide and then you have the mounting bolt on top. So let's go ahead and put this bottom one on and it is an 11 millimeter. So you wanna have it facing with the curve. It's kind of curved if you can see that. Um, so you want the curve to yourself. Slide a bolt through it, put a washer, and then put the nylon lock locking nut and you're going to use 11 millimeters on both sides and just kind of tighten it but don't tighten it all the way uh, you want that kind of to adjust so you can move it up or down and so once you have that then you're going to go and use the remaining bolts that you have here um, which is a bolt and the washer and what we're going to do is go to our engine and put this bolt through and then mount our bracket to it. So I'll show you guys right now when we get to the engine, but you're basically gonna have this bolt coming through the back side of the shroud and we'll be going and bolting in this way, opposite of the way the bottom one was bolted. So let's go to the engine and show you guys that. All right guys, so as you can see, I've already put the bolt through the back side, and now we can go ahead and run this bracket over and you want to make sure that the extended bit on this falls in one of these triangle shaped things to ensure that the bracket stays in place guys as you can see I've got the hole through the bottom and I've also got that last one down there in one of the triangles and that's leaving the catch can perfectly placed right here to be placed right in the middle of this area here. So let's go ahead and put the washer and the, lug, the nut on this side and tighten All right, it. Alright guys, I finally got this. It's actually a lot harder than it looks because of these fan blades get in the way and this is got is much thicker. So 
I ended up using a deep socket quarter inch 11 millimeter and I had to kind of wedge it in actually the way you see it here down and in through the back and just try to get it to lock in on the back side once it locked in then I was able to use another 11 millimeter and screw this bolt in but as you can see this thing is not going anywhere it's very very sturdy and it is going to be held in place by that second one that's just kind of there sitting on the bottom so um, now that our bracket is good to go and then we can go ahead and set up the catch can and get the hoses routed okay, in right. so now we're going to go ahead and set up our catch can and as you can see it's got a nice sight glass it's already got these connections built in and so the way that we're going to set this up is we're going to use these fittings here and it comes with two it comes with a 90 degree and a straight degree or just a straight hand fitting so this straight one we're going to put on the connection right above the sight glass so that one just kind of screws on and it's a really loose really tight you don't need to tighten it too much you can tighten it and I probably will go ahead and just do a small little tight with the a wrench but you don't want to over tighten this as well because it's got some o-rings in there so you do one end on that side and then your other 90 degree you're going to screw in on the second one and what you want to do is have the 90 degree kind of pointed out in the same direction as your straight now this can has an external breather that you have to also install and that is this thing here now the new gen 5's have a nice little groove where this pops in and secures itself so you don't have to worry about clamping them and so you just get this breather now what's really cool about this breather guys is it doesn't just start venting out or sucking air in um, and introducing unmetered air to your system it actually has an uh, internal um, diaphragm kind of thing that'll during normal operation when the engine is under vacuum that little flap sucks to the bottom of the filter and it is closed it is a completely closed system now this will actually relieve any of that crankcase pressure and not let it harm the engine so you want to def definitely have this this is really great and all you're going to do is just kind of slide it in from the top and get it over the little o-ring and you're good to go it's nice and secure and it's you'll feel it snap in when it gets out over that little ridge all right guys so here we have our fully assembled can and as you can see we've got both fittings facing the same direction with the clear sight and what we're going to do is we're going to put our can here against the bracket and use the provided clamp um, to mount it on so you want to remove the nut from the clamp to make it open and then mount it onto this bracket and you can see where the clamp is going to kind of go around here to really like secure it to the bracket itself so let's go ahead and put that and when you're installing it you want to make sure that the fittings and ports are facing to your I guess to your little right in this instance so you want the the fill port and everything and I'll show you guys how it's going to look whenever I finally get it alright guys so here we go got it mounted and as you can see I've got a straight one here pointing this way and I got the other angle pointing the other way uh, the hose uh, is right on point to right exact length and so you want to just cut it almost in half and that should be able to get you where you need to go so now let's go ahead and remove this hose here and what you do is there is a silver clip which I'll show once I remove it and that's the clip you need to push in to pop it off from the top and the same thing up on the top side so you just kind of press the clip in and this gray clip here you just press it in and as you can see I mean guys there's literally are there's already oil I mean you can kind of see oil in there and I've and I've only had this car for 180 miles and you can already see some oil in here so that is definitely not good so since this comes out really quickly you don't really need to get the whole top off or anything like that and but um yeah this is the little line and i don't know if you guys will be able to see but you guys can see oil already right on 
going into the intake manifold so this intake manifold probably already got a little bit of oil in it luckily we've got this catch can to make sure that that doesn't happen you can see it here um it's a kind of the residues kind of pop came out but yeah guys that's why it's very important to make sure that you guys have an oil catch can you can see it over here as well um luckily like i said very fresh so this oil is really clean and hopefully it'll just burn off in the engine but now we'll go ahead and just we got to pop these in on either side all right guys okay. so we've got the catch can mounted we've got our hoses got one here and the other one's somewhere down there now like i mentioned this is your dirty side the one that's the straight line this is the one that we're going to put into the bottom end into this port right here let me see if i can kind of get you guys that's the one that we're going to put into this valve here um and then the one that has the 90 degree elbow that hose is going to go uh tubby can kind of see it uh, uh right here on the to the intake manifold all right guys we are finally done so i've got the dirty side here which is the one under here and that is plugged into the bottom and then we've got the clean side which is our 90 degree here routed going under through the same spot and that one's up here so now this engine will no longer have any issues with oil getting in because we basically have put a catch can in between this original line here and I'm glad that I did this right from the get-go because as you guys can see this thing already has oil in there and now anytime I get on it or do anything like that I won't have to worry about oil getting into my engine all right guys well there we have it we've got our catch can installed we've replaced our start button with the nice silver looking z01 style one and i can't be any happier um i love the way that it came out you can barely even tell um i mean just because of this filter but other than that i mean you this looks pretty much factory um and of course making sure that we don't have any oil in our intake or build up on our valves um i plan on doing a lot of awesome things with this car and i need this motor to be as healthy as it can be but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you found it helpful useful um definitely recommend the mighty mouse solutions catch cans they are top-notch quality kits and they will serve the best uh purpose for what i want to do in this car so Hope you guys had a great one. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date and see what else I do to this car. I've got a bunch of other things coming. Um, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Comment down below why you liked it, why you didn't like it. Um, and what do you guys think? Uh, what do you guys think of the catch can? And also, what do you guys think of that Z01 button? I think it looks really nice. It's a small little details, but it's all in details, guys. Anyways. Hope you guys have a great one and I'll see you guys in the next one.